Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate this Sunday the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. We recognize that in this celebration, we are called by the Father through Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Today also, we commemorate Philippine Independence Day. We thank the Lord for calling us as a people, and we pray that Jesus may continue to redeem us and to continue to give us the freedom that we hope for. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
let us pray. God, our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery. Grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the Trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Thus says the wisdom of God, The Lord possessed me, the beginning of his ways, the forerunner of his prodigies of long ago. From of old I was poured forth at the first before the earth. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains or springs of water, before the mountains were settled into place, before the hills, I was brought forth. While as yet the earth and fields were not made, nor the first clouds of the world. When the Lord established the heavens, I was there. When he marked out of the vault over the face of the deep, when he made firm the skies above, when he fixed fast the foundations of the earth, when he set for the sea its limit, so that the waters should not transgress his command. Then was I beside him as his craftsman, and I was his delight day by day, playing before him all the while, playing on the surface of his earth, and I found delight in human race. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. When I behold your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you set in place, what is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? You have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your words, putting all things under his feet. All 
bull, sheep, and oxen. Yes, the beast of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the seas. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith to this grace in which we stand and we boast in hope of the glory of God. Not only that, but we even boast of our afflictions, knowing that affliction produces endurance, and endurance proven character, and proven character hope, and hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the Spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason, I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. We celebrate today God as love. We see that in the life of God, there is love. The love of the Father to the Son. 
and the Son in His obedience, loving the Father. And in their love that they want to share with us, they sent the Holy Spirit. Therefore, the life of God as Trinity teaches us that the life of God is love. They are united because of love. Ang buhay ng Diyos ay ang umibig. Kaya nagkakaisa ang Diyos, Ama, Anak, at Espiritu Santo dahil sa kanilang pagmamahal. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, our solemnity this Sunday, the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity, teaches us that God can be found in love. And love can be found also in God. Ang tinuturo po sa atin ng pagdiriwang ngayon, ang pagmamahal at pag-ibig ay matatagpuan sa Diyos at makikilala makakatagpo natin ang Diyos sa pag-ibig at pagmamahal. Every experience of love is an encounter with God. Umiibig po ba kayo ngayon? Nagmamahal ba tayo ngayon? Kapag umiibig ka, diyan makikita mo ang Diyos. Dahil ang Diyos ay pag-ibig at ang buhay ng Diyos ay umibig. We see in our first reading today from the book of Proverbs, the story of creation and how creation is the fruit of the love of God. Kaya nilikha ng Diyos ang sanlibutan dahil minamahal niya tayo. And we see in our first reading, wisdom as the companion and co-creator of God, telling us that He takes delight in God and wisdom also takes delight in creation and the human race. Makikita natin sa unang pagbasa na nilikha ng Diyos ang sanlibutan dahil sa pagmamahal niya sa atin. At nang nakita ng Diyos ang kanyang nilikha, ay lalo niyang inibig ito. That is why, my dear brothers and sisters, whenever we see creation, we see the love of God. And we, when we see love, we see God. Kapag tinitingnan natin ang nilikha ng Diyos, nakikita natin ang Kanyang pagmamahal, nakikita natin ang Diyos. Kaya tuwing tayo'y babangon sa umaga at makikita natin ang napakagandang sikat ng araw, nakikita natin ang lahat ng nilikha ng Diyos Sabi nga sa ating salmo ngayong araw na ito, Who am I that God has loved me, that God has created all of this for me? When we see creation, we see love. And when we see love, we see God. Baka meron po ditong mga mag-asawa Baka nakikita ko magkakatabi kayong mga mag-aasawa kapag kayo'y nagsisimba. 
kapag gising ninyo sa umaga, yung mukha na yung katabi mo, ang unang nakikita mo, masasabi mo ba na ikaw ay minamahal ng Diyos kapag nakita mo ang iyong katabi, <laughs> ang iyong asawa sa umaga, sa paggising mo pa lang, makikita mo ang iyong minamahal, makikita mo ang iyong pamilya, makikita mo ang iyong magulang o mga anak. Kapag nakita mo yan, masasabi mong mahal nga ako ng Diyos. At sa pagmamahal, naroon, makikilala natin ang Diyos. Sana pagising sa umaga, wag mo nang init ng ulo ang sasabihin sa iyong katabi o sa iyong asawa o sa iyong minamahal. Kilalanin muna na yan ay galing sa Diyos. At sa inyong pag-ibig, makikita natin at makikilala natin ang Panginoon. In our gospel reading today, we hear about the Trinity sharing with one another. Jesus teaching us that His words come from the Father and that the Holy Spirit will communicate to us what He heard from Jesus, the words coming from the Father. We see, my dear brothers and sisters, that the life of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit is a life of sharing, of caring and loving one another. Makikita natin ang Diyos sa pag-ibig, lalo na sa pagbabahaginan, sa pag-aalay ng sarili, sa kahandaang magbigay at magbahagi. That is why whenever we see caring, sharing, and loving, we see God. Yesterday, I was uh, traveling and uh, going for a funeral mass. Sa biyahe po namin, dahil mayroong baha, ay nalubak po yung sasakyan at hindi po kami makaahon sa baha. Buti na lang, mayroong mga nakamotor sa harapan namin. Akala ko ay aabutin na kami ng isang oras doon dahil ayaw umako ng sasakyan at hindi ho kami makababa dahil baha. Alam niyo ko, yung mga nakamotor sa harap namin, walang dalawang pag-iisip, bumaba sila sa motor at binuhat yung sasakyan. Gusto ko sanang bigyan ng pangmeryenda nila <laughs> bilang pasasalamat. Pero sabi nila, hindi na ko. At dali-dali rin naman silang umalis din. Pero bago sila umalis, sabi ko salamat at God bless sa inyo. Alam nyo ko, yung pagtitinginan namin ng pagpapasalamat, parang naramdaman mo na totoo ang presensya ng Diyos kapag naroon ang kahandaang tumulong, kahandaang magbigay, kahandaang magbahagi. When we experience sharing and caring with one another, we recognize God. Because in God, there is love. And finally, in our second reading today, from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, we see that in the community called by God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, they are working together so that the community may be justified in faith, strengthened in hope, and animated by love. Makikita natin na nagkakaisa ang Ama, Anak, at Espiritu Santo para palakasin ang pamayanan 
patibayin sa pananampalataya at pag-asa at buhayin sa pag-ibig. My dear brothers and sisters, whenever we see that in the community, we are able to strengthen and encourage one another, we recognize the love of God and we recognize God. Halimbawa po sa pagtitipon po natin ngayong linggo na ito, tuwing tayo'y nagdiriwang ng banal na misa, we recognize that we strengthen one another. Nagpapasalamat ho tayo sa mga naglilingkod sa atin dito, yung ating mga ushers, yung nagbabasa po sa atin, yung umaawit para sa atin, yung mga nagbibigay ng komunyon para sa atin. Nagpapasalamat din po tayo sa mga staff ng Manila Cathedral. Nagpapasalamat tayo sa mga sign language interpreters. At nagpapasalamat tayo sa pakikiisa ng bawat isa sa inyo. Whenever we celebrate this worship every Sunday, we recognize that we are able to support and strengthen one another. And when we see that the community is able to strengthen, encourage, and build up one another, we recognize the love of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit strengthening us, encouraging us in love. Kaya mga minamahal na kapatid, sa araw po na ito, kinikilala natin ang Diyos bilang pag-ibig. At kapag nakikita natin na mayroong pag-ibig, makikilala natin na roon ang Diyos. Sana po, para malaman ninyo kung tunay ang pag-ibig, hindi lamang tatanungin natin, Kinilig ba ako? Baka ganyan lang ang sukatan natin sa pag-ibig. Ah, kinilig ako. No? Umiibig na ako. Minsan, isang araw mo palang nakilala, mahal mo na. No? Ah, mahal na agad kita. No? Katext pa lang kita, I love you na. No? Yan ba ang sukatan ng pag-ibig? Diyan ba makikita ang pag-ibig kapag kinilig ka? Makikita mo ba ang pag-ibig kapag masaya ka? Kapag sumaya ako, ah, mahal ko na. O kaya kapag niregaluhan ka, mahal mo na ba? No? Minsan, makukuha ka lang sa isang regalo, <laughs> mahal mo na. No? Yan ba? Diyan ba makikita ang pag-ibig? Mga minamahal na kapatid, kapag naramdaman mo ang Diyos, kapag nakita mo ang Diyos, masasabi mo, tunay ang pag-ibig. My dear brothers and sisters, let the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity teach us that God can be found in love, and in love we can find God. Amen. Please stand. Let us now profess our faith. I believe, I believe in, in one God, God the, the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. 
He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Trinity of Love created all things. We stand in wonder and awe before the marvels worked by the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Therefore, let us pray together, grateful for God's many gifts. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop Jose, and all the bishops, that they may continue to lead us in worship of the true God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For nations divided by hatred and fear, that the Spirit of truth may lead them to harmony and concord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For people living with disabilities, that they may find patience, perseverance, and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For ourselves in this community of believers, that we may live in the unity and love of the Trinity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our departed brothers and sisters, that they may come to share the glory of God forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Father, hear our prayers offered for all creation in the power of the Holy Spirit and the name of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Oh, 
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. To lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance, and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day as with one voice, they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever.
At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord 
I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal Holy Trinity and undivided unity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like to thank all of you for joining us in this celebration. We pray that the Holy Trinity may continue to teach us the way of love, and we entrust our whole nation to the care and love of our God, the Most Holy Trinity. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you now and forever. Amen. May He let His face shine upon you and show you His mercy now and forever. Amen. May He turn His countenance towards you and give you His peace now and forever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh